It's estimated that every 1 in 133 Americans has celiac disease. Though the number of people with gluten sensitivity increases, options remain limited. Today, more restaurants accommodate for people with gluten-free diets. Gluten-free cranks we have are just buckwheat, and we for sure keep everything that's wheat and buckwheat separate when we're making the crepes. They have a stack of crepes and they layer everything with uh, wax paper, so there's generally no cross-contamination. Though there are some accommodations, cross-contamination still remains a threat. The important thing, which I tell everybody, is I offer a pizza made without gluten. I don't have a gluten-free environment. The minute that pizza goes into the oven, there's gluten flying around all over the place. And then as far as the pasta goes and stuff, yes, yeah, separate pan, separate utensils, stays away from anything that might be contaminated with gluten. Not only is this cross-contamination a serious health hazard for people with gluten sensitivity, but it makes places like Rose's Wheat-Free Cafe and Bakery all the more rare. When a restaurant offers gluten-free items and they're not entirely gluten-free, there's always the worry of cross-contamination and some restaurants probably don't want to deal with that possibility. A big ingredient to avoid would be corn, because corn is often cross-contaminated with gluten. We're actually about 99% corn-free, and basically a lot of grains or vegetables can be cross-contaminated with gluten. So we have to make sure that the sources that we're getting all our extra flowers and whatnot from have not been, aren't near any sort of wheat fields or anything that would contain.